the properties of reflexes the first very important is adequate stimulus and stereotype response second is reflex time and center delay third is recruitment and irradiation of stimulus fourth is after discharge fifth is spinal common pathway sixth center excitatory and inhibitory state and seventh is habituation and sensitization these are the basic seven properties of reflexes when we summarize it first for any reflex we require adequate stimulus second reflex time and center delay third is recruitment and irradiation of stimulus fourth is after discharge fifth is final common pathway sixth is central excitatory and inhibitory state seventh is habituation and sensitization when you see the, these properties in detail that is adequate stimulus and stereotype response which is the first important property that means initiation of reflex is because of receptor the response is always same and fix that means example is multiple linear tactile stimuli like crawling of flea initiate scratching when see the reflex time and center delay this time lapse between application of stimuli and response elicited that is known as reflex time due to the conduction of time and synaptic delay when is the central delay central delay is the time taken for impulse to pass through spinal cord and is related to number of synapses that is central delay that means in knee jerk reflex time is 12 to 19 millisecond and central delay is 0.6 to 0.7 millisecond so only it is monosynaptic when you see the irradiation of stimulus and recruitment of motor neurons mild painful stimulus that is minimal contraction of flexor muscle and inhibition of extensor muscles stronger stimuli spreading of signals and involvement of more and more motor neurons that is recruitment while spreading of signal is known as irradiation of the stimulus or it may irradiate to the other limb which is known as cross extensor response in case in the number of active neurons is known as recruitment of motor units this is concerned with the third important property that is irradiation of stimulus and recruitment of the motor neurons it is in mild painful stimulus stronger stimulus cross extensor response and recruitment of motor units that is increase the number of active neurons which is known as recruitment of motor neurons when you see the after discharge this figure showing this property very clearly the weak stimulus causes quick flexion of response while the strong stimulus leads to prolonged response the prolonged and repeated firing of motor neuron which is called as after discharge that means the prolonged and repeated firing of motor neuron which is called as after discharge which is an important property of this reflexes bombarding of motor neurons through complicated circuitous routes and reverberating circuits next property is final common pathway it is a magnitude of response to stimulus depends upon the balance between excitatory and inhibitory input of alpha motor neurons when you see the inputs of alpha motor neurons same spinal cord enter neurons from other segments descending pathway from brain so alpha motor neurons acts as final common pathway for activity in skeletal muscle now next property is central excitatory and inhibitory state the temporary changes in excitability due to subliminal fringe effect which results in spread of impulse in spinal cord the prolonged changes due to reverberating circuits or neuromodulator while the central excitatory concerned with excitatory influence that is inhibitory that is after spinal cord injury it is a mass reflex central inhibitory inhibitory that is greater than excitatory influence when you see the last property that is habituation and sensitization it is the modification of stereotype responses by experience 
that is habituation if benign responses declines that is habituation the noxious stimulation prolonged facilitation sensitization which remains for hours two days that is sensitization the these are most underlying properties of reflexes that is habituation and sensitization